Hey everyone, it's Dave here from Band of Badgers, and this is the Dragon Bane from Free League. This is the Game Master screen. Now, you've probably, probably already seen the Dragon Bane video. If not, I'll stick it up a link in here. There's a whole kind of collection of these videos coming. We're going to be doing uh, some character creation videos as well. So, do stay tuned for those. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, tell your pets, your friends, your aliens, your neighbors, whoever they might be. Uh, tell that, tell that uh, person at the bus stop um, to uh, go and subscribe to Band of Badgers because you think they're great. Because we try. Um, anyway, so this is Dragon Bane. This is the Game Master screen. Um, that's what it looks like. That's going to be the front panel. This one is still wrapped in plastic, so apologies for the reflections. But it's a gorgeous artwork. It does come from uh, the box. This is uh, a picture of the box there. Um, and that's it. Right, so we're going to have a look at what it says here. This is a deluxe Game Master screen in landscape format for the Dragon Bane RPG. It features John Egerkart... Eg Egerkranz, uh, Egerkranzes, Egerkranzes, Kranzes, Kranzes. Beautiful art on the outside and a host of useful tables and important information on the inside while keeping the Game Master's plans hidden from the eyes of inquisitive players. No, I like that. But one of the things that the rule book, I've got my scissors there. One of the things that the rule book for Dragon Bane encourages is to do your dice rolls out in the open. Um, now having a GM screen at the same time kind of uh, opposes that, but if you're playing around the table, what I like to do is I hide my minis and kind of tokens and handouts behind the screen. So if you imagine that is my screen here on my table and I put it to one side and that way me, I am freely available to my players. My dice tray is there um, and I can just roll in in front of them. Um, it's a nice way of doing it. So let's crack into this. Now this Game, uh, game Master screen, you can buy uh, right, well you can pre-order right now, as of July 2023. This item will be shipping in August 2023, so we're not that far away. But this GM screen, you can pick up for about 15 to 20 pounds here in the UK. Um, but if you buy directly from Free League, uh, freeleaguepublishing.com, go to the shop, find Dragon Bane. It is currently listed at 17 pounds and nine pence. Don't forget, it'll be shipping on top of that. Uh, there's nothing on the other side, just just that piece. So that will probably go into recycling. I am not someone who keeps everything, but um, it is it is a a letterbox view of that fantastic artwork. There we go. So it is the the dragon's wings, which is lovely, nice and shiny, nice and reflective. I like that. It is only a three piece screen. Um, I've kind of got used to four piece screens because. I find that that is just not enough. Um, a four piece screen I really, really enjoy uh, using. But one of the good things that uh, they that Free League does, is you see, they will include like an extra piece. So it's all neat and tidy, it doesn't bend. You've got this extra kind of hinge area. I like that, I like that a lot, Free League, well done. Good user experience. Uh, so we have some ra we've got some random tables in here. We've got a fear table. We have a pathfinder mishaps. That's if you're taking the lead. Uh, leaving the adventure site. What can happen? Or what can happen? Enemies at the site follow the player character and attack an opportune moment. Enemies at the site get reinforcements. Fallen enemies are replaced twofold. Oh wow! Someone else arrives at the site and clears it clears it of treasure before the player characters return. Okay. Uh, what else we got? We got a demon, a demon roll in melee. So, um, it, although Dragon Bane uses a D twenty system, it is the opposite of D and D's five E edition. So, low rolls are great, high rolls are bad, which means a nat twenty is very bad. A natural one is perfect. So, a nat twenty, which is bad, is called a demon roll, and a nat uh, oh, sorry. So where, if that's my demons, do I have dragons? Well, I don't. There's no dragon table. That's interesting. Um, so in uh, when demon, when you roll a demon, uh, it's bad. Uh, when you roll a dragon, it's good. But here it says demon roll in melee. So you roll d6 for an effect. What have we got? You drop your weapon. Yeah, you expose yourself to an enemy. Gets a free attack. That's not a bad idea. Your weapon cuts so deep into an object that gets stuck. I've used that before. You accidentally toss your weapon. <laughs> D3 plus three meters away. Uh, to pick up, you must move and then perform an action. 
uh, you'll slam your weapon something hard and damage it. You hit, you hit yourself by mistake. <laughs> I'm not sure how to take that. You hit yourself with a pike. Um, range combat. You hit yourself by mistake. <laughs> how are you going to do that with Baron? I mean, okay, you put the string around wrong. I don't know. Uh, answers on a postcard or comments below, please. How do you hit yourself? Uh, especially GMs, I want to know if you punish your your players by saying you hit yourself by mistake using a bow and arrow. How does the arrow just come back? Does it have a boomerang effect? I can imagine a boomerang. That would be funny. Measuring time. Okay, we've got actions. What you can do on your turn. All of these things you can do. So these are just basic reminders on the GM screen. Initiative for NPCs. Zero hit points for NPCs. Attributes for NPCs. NPCs and skills and typical NPCs. There we go. We've got yeah, all, all the usual adventurer, scholar, bandit, knight. Um, these are all your kind of character classes. We've got guard, cultist, thief. Okay, that was nice and quick and simple. I quite I like it. I'm not a fan of necessarily tables. I do prefer just to try to tell my players or, or ask my players, well, what happened? Um, what did go wrong? Unless you want to. Because obviously as a GM, you know what's coming next. So you can always position it so it, uh, it works in your favor. Ha ha. Um, so there we go. That is the DM screen. Now also, again, thank you to Free League for sending this over. Um, very, very generous of you. It is for review purposes and we're going to be playing. Uh, we'll, we'll be playing this game uh, very up, uh, coming up very, very soon. Um, and actually, oh, that's an idea. I wonder if we should play Dragon Bane at Dragon Meat in December. Stay tuned, we might have more details. They also sent me a set of dice. Now, the set of dice, these are the official Dragon Bane dice set. I love it when we get official dice. Uh, Forbidden Lands had dice. Alien, you know, had dice, if you're a big fan of Alien like us. Um, check out our own Alien campaigns on our YouTube channel. You're already here, just just hit subscribe, and then go to our homepage, and then you'll see some, some of our Alien stuff. Um, but I love this. I, I absolutely... Love it, love it, love it. Superb. Uh, the dice set are about fifteen pounds. Um, available in the UK now. Again, these are also available. Uh, you can pre-order now, but they will be coming out in August. So do keep an eye out for those. Um, Dragon uh, GM screen is about fifteen to twenty pounds. Now, I'm just going to dash off to the side. Here is the box set, and the box set is huge and heavy. Check out our video about it. Um, you will not uh, be disappointed by this set. However, while you can buy this all separately, you can also buy them as a bundle. So for a bundle, you will save, um, a lot. I think, I think you save about 15 pounds, which is basically the dice. But you'll get everything. And remember that the box set comes um, with 10 dice. Uh, not just six, but 10 dice. Now you get the whole bundle. Again, if you order from pre uh, from uh, Free League now, this is a pre-order. It's £52.32 pence right now. That's July 2023. This comes out officially in August 2023. So do go check those out. Now, if you like this, um, do check out our other videos. Uh, please do like and subscribe. We're trying to hit a thousand um, subscriptions on our YouTube channel. Anything that you can do to help um, would be great. And if you have a product, if you're a creator, a publisher, a writer, an artist, for something for the TTRPG community, get in touch. Um, especially for the, we're based in the UK. Um, if you want to hit a different type of audience, if you're in Australia, if you're in America, if you're somewhere in Europe, um, do get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. We always we always love hearing about new products coming to the market. Um, and if we can help you, we will. But until next time, um, I see you. Be safe. Be good. Ta-da.